貴族に行くことは浮気かどうかっていう、どう思いますか浮気じゃない。浮気じゃない。気持ちの浮気は嫌なんですけど、まあ、性欲の浮気は別に<笑>、勝手にしてくれるんやったらいいかな。万<笑>人と連絡取れる間でやられるよりは、店でちゃんとしてもらった方がいいです。イエス。なんかわざわざ風俗に行く意味がわからない。の、秘密にしてたらあれだけど、まあ、情に恋とかしなければいいじゃないですか。浮気ではない。隠さなければ浮気じゃない。浮気するなら風俗に行けって言ったことあります。<笑>金払えばいいよって言ったことあります。新しいね、出会いじゃなくて、お金払って行ってるなら別にいいから。納得できる理由だったら浮気とは思わないかも。例えば、どういう付き合いああ、例えば上司とかの。怒るけど、行ってもまだ許せる。風俗なら。なんか日本ならではのなんか文化じゃないけど、やっぱり有名じゃないですか。風俗とかっていうのが。そういう意味では、日本ならではで、そう。But the majority of women in this video just said that if a man、yeah. goes for box, that is not I was listening, I was listening to Japanese. Yeah, and, it's exactly correct. And,、uh, you know, it's okay. As long as there's no feelings between the man and the pro,、um, it's acceptable. I don't know about that, bro. I'll, I'll be honest with you.、Um, it's like Japanese culture, too. So,、yeah. the, the problem I have with that is because、um, if they say that, right, that's not cheating, what's stopping them from sleeping with a, with a, with a dude, right, that's a pro, okay? And then the guy finds out and she tells him, listen, that's not cheating, there's no feelings. Bruv, come on, man. I don't know about that. What's your thoughts about the whole situation, but man, that's and that example I gave because you're thinking of them as being Western women, they're not. So, these women are relationships and they're not putting out. So, basically, they don't they want to maintain the relationship but not put out. So, they're like, okay, well, historically, this has been something that's going on in Japan for at least 1500 years. So, they're like, okay, well, you go to a pro, get your Get your trick on and then come back. And then, if you're discreet about it, fine, because then I didn't have to put out and I get the same standard of living. It's very common.、Okay. So, she's not she's not going to get somebody, she's not going to have this thinking because she's not going to put out. So, you're not going to worry about it. So, you could have like, you know, Mr. you know Chad Tyrone be around her. She's not going to put out for him because she's not putting out. So, you tell me, brother, right? The majority of Japanese women、uh, believe it's okay that they're cool with their boyfriend or husband paying for box as long as there's no feelings between him and the pro. Okay? And they're going to be happy. They don't care about that. It's like, okay, no feelings there. That's cool. Well, to, to, to put it in perspective, let's say that.、Um, so, a lot of times when、um, a Japanese husband. Goes to Southeast Asia for business work. It's, it's legitimate work. His wife will pack、um, like a lot of condoms into his suitcase and then she'll just say, Don't bring anything back home. That's it. What? Yeah. I heard that more than once. I saw that on television. I heard more than one story about this. Very common. So、Gosh. she knows it's good. Yeah, she knows it's going to go on. And so she's like, hey, just don't bring it back. That's all. And you know, that's the, the way it is. And I guarantee you, while she's in Japan, she's not putting out. She's not looking for a guy to scratch、sure? her itch. Yeah, I know. I was there. I saw how that goes down. The ones that you're really worried about. Remember, we had that conversation about after a woman gets married, what happens in Japan? Like, Just like her libido goes way down. And then,、um, like, if, if she's a girlfriend, yeah, if there's a girlfriend, this is that's a, that's a totally different situation. But、um, if, if, particularly in marriage, no way. But in this case, this is how these women right here, they're acting as if they're married.、And、so I'm really not surprised. So,、um, again, when on a Japanese woman she gives birth, you got about a 75% likelihood. That she is unlikely she is unlikely to ever put out for you again, unless、uh, she really wants another kid. So then she might be aroused for another kid. But oh, once it's done, it, it's over. It, again, nothing may happen with you two ever again. Your guys are basically roommates, but she takes all of your money. 
so you don't have control over your salary anymore. So she like raises the child and you get a stipend. So, okay, so then you're like Mr. Stipend Man. <laughs> so you wanna, you wanna get some, right? And she knows that, so she's like, go to a pro. I'm not gonna put out. Oh, wow, and she, she, she'll give you a part, she'll give you a pass to sit around with different chicks. Yeah, as long as you're oh. not, in, in, like what these women said, I, I was listening to them in Japanese. What they said in Japanese was by far more brutal um, than what, was, what the translation was. It was by far more direct. It, it would be stunning what they were saying because it was, it was brutal black and white. There was no gray at all. And so it was, it's like, hey, look, I don't, don't, don't have a relationship with anybody, which is exactly correct. I literally do not care. There is no way you're going to change my mental, my, my mentality or what I'm doing every day. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. In the same way, a lot of these women are like, if you're in a relationship with me and we're in a marriage and we haven't done anything from the last six months, I don't care. I'm going to do my own thing at the same way. I'm, you know, it's not going to affect me. And that's what they said, Kini Shnai. I, I heard that, Kini Shnai. And I was like, yep, oh my goodness. And that's a powerful statement in Japanese. So I'm not surprised at this. This is another reason why I think guys need to be more worried about marrying Japanese. Um, if, if in terms of girlfriend, these women are like Niagara Falls. They, they're, they're totally open. It's juicy, wet, ready to go. Um, and but when they turn into wives and they turn the mothers, it's more like a hostage negotiation for the husband. And they really, it's there's nothing he can do. And if he decides to divorce, he's going to be the one suffering more by far more than she is. So, you know, you might as well just stay there. You know, what can he do? So that you know, the society knows that. That's the way it is. Um, if you want to have that relationship and you want to, you know, get down, get funky, and keep on going, go get a Filipina. <laughs> They get more, as wives, they get more energetic. They, they, they want to serve their husbands even more. Go to Thailand, um, South Korea. Though they're not, they're more sophisticated. I would say they're more like, kind of like a Japanese and Thai hybrid, whereas that they have the education and class of a Japanese woman, but they, they kind of want to get down and dirty with their husband. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's usually how it goes. They're usually a bit more active with them. Um, so again, this didn't stun me at all. Damn. Um, you know, think twice before wife up a Japanese chick, they're great girlfriends, but the wife stuff, unless you're really lucky, you know, uh, there could be some problems there, you know, mm. which, which is a shame because I, I was in Japan earlier this year. I love the country. The women treated me great, but marriage is a whole different game. Um, mm -hmm. damn. Yeah, and you don't know what's going to happen until she uh, actually gets married and next actually gives birth. She can change her mentality 100, percent and there's nothing you can do about it. You're you, you're actually basically at, at her will, and so it's not. Again, I, I would never worry about like you know, my late wife. I would never worry about her being with a group of guys and be like, yeah, she's not going to do anything. I don't, I don't know how she is. Um. So it's not like, again, a Western woman, you have to keep your eyes on her because, you know, spread eagle instantly. You know, she's like a dog in heat all the time. So if you're not satisfying, she'll just go off, you know, she'll go to a doorknob, banana, you know, vegetables, who knows what. And then men, she'll get a train written on her, even if she's married, and then go blame her husband on it. Um, no. Nah. So this is, again, this is, again I, like, I, I like Western women in Japan because they're subdued. They, they, there's, they don't have the options. They can't get a train running on them, you know, because nobody's going to do that to them. Um, it's much more of a, you know, a structured society. The women say controlled, but no, it's not because the, if the men decide they're not going to participate, they're not control. It's not a controlling situation. They have other things to do. They're happy. So why why do they have to participate in a train for you just because you want one? Right. <laughs> so yeah. So I understand your statement, what you're saying. You're saying that, that that's for a Western woman. That's not for a Japanese woman at all. 